Okay, hello my friend. Hopefully that you are doing great. So uh, welcome to the tutorial related to Catalon products. So in this tutorial, I want to share you how to use Catalon product and you know uh, create automation tests in your real product easily with Catalon. Okay. So first thing first, you need to create a free account to, from Catalon web page here. But please do me a favor, don't go to this link directly. I also attach um, a link in this video description and then try to click on that link. You know what? Because when you click on that link, create an account and then you download the product from Catalon, you will donate $1. But it's not for me. I already contacted with testing VN, uh, a very famous group about software testing in Vietnam. And then I will do all of the money that I have from this program to help the more students to go to school. So that's the purpose. So just do me a favor. When you create a new account, try to click on that link that I also attack on the video. Okay, don't go here directly. So after you create a free account, you can see here it's very easy, but here it's a little tricky here. So you can see it appear as business email. So actually you don't need business email. Uh, you just need uh, a Gmail, um, I mean a personal email that work as well. Okay, so after you create an email, they could create an account here, they will send for you you know, a confirmation email, uh, and then you just open your personal email inbox, and then you try to uh, confirm uh, the email, that's it, okay? So after that, the next time you come here, you try to sign in, then it will be nav navigated to this page. So in this page, we have uh, several products here, but in this tutorial, I want to share you about Catalan Studio this one okay so you just need to click on the free download okay so here if after you click on the free download here it will be automatically uh, download for you the version that's matched with your operating system but if it doesn't you just need to select your uh, operating system from here so in my case i will select mac os here and then i just hit the download button here so Basically, after you the download is successfully, you just need to double click and install. It's like any normal application. Okay. So after that, I just wanna share you a little here. So if you go to Catalan web page, okay, and then you go to resources, and then you go to documentation. So after you go to the documentation, you can see here we have many sessions inside. So for us in this tutorial, what we want to focus, that's the uh, Catalan Studio here. So after you click on Catalan Studio, you can see here, we have something like getting started, session, web UI, uh, testing, mobile testing, support, or something like that. And then at the end, you can see that's how, how familiar with this documentation, okay? So actually, especially for beginners, uh, it is not easy for them to go to the documentation and then go uh, one by one the knowledge here. So that's why I want to set up a very basic tutorial to help them how to use the catalog. And then after that, you can go to documentation that catalog provides, and then you can you know uh, explore more about that. Okay. So after you download successfully and then you open the Catalan Studio, so maybe at the first time, it will ask you to input the username password again to activate the product. So you just simple try to enter the username as your email and the password, that's it. And then it will navigate you to this page. So this is something like, you know, more introduction, uh, some news from the product. So you just simple click to close this page. Okay, so now I want to create a new project. Okay, so in the first lesson, I want to do something very simple. I want to try to explore one uh, feature from Catalan Studio. That's that means I want to record a record uh, to run a test script. Okay, but first thing first, you need to create a new project. 
So this project will be this this one will be the name for your project, and you can select for your project type web API web service mobile desktop or something like zero. Okay, and then you can select something like if you leave is as blank. That means you will create a project from scratch. But you select anything like sample here, it will automatically import for you some sample and then you can follow. But I suggest you, if you try to explore it, try to not use the sample first, okay? Because the sample is something like after you understand some basic concept first, okay? So just leave, leave it as plain. So let's try to input the name first. So the name should be something like basic. Or uh, I wonder something like basic, maybe just basic catalog. That should be enough. Okay. So this repository URL related should do something to the GitHub, and then I will tell you later how to integrate. This is the location for all the projects will be located. Okay. So you can change it yourself, or you can just leave it at default here. I think it's good enough. Okay. And then you can boost some description and you can select Celery Docs Git Ignore file. So if you are familiar with Git and GitHub or something like that, so you probably see the Git is not it's just a specific file where you can, you know, exclude in um, some files, some directory from you know committing to your GitHub repository. This one something related to the great file. So you can leave here or you can shut this voice. That's okay. Okay. After that, you hit the OK button here. Okay. Just wait a moment. We are almost there. Here we go. So you can see on the right side here, there's something related to the tutorial. So you can find on the documentation page as well. For me, I I just need to close this one to get more space and then we can start to explore. So in this lesson, as I mentioned at the very beginning of the lesson, I want to try to explore the feature, how to record a record from TypeScript. So here you can see here, after I click on the record web, it's will open for me a dialog and by default it's will input, uh, input a default URL related to sample page from catalog, but I don't want to do it. I want to do another size. So what I want to do that I will try to cut this. You can see the internet.heracleapp.com because there's many elements that we can explore. Okay, so try to replace this one by that one. So after that, you can see on the right side here. So you can see a select option here try to click on this one, okay? And then you can see, we can select uh, many type of browser. So for example, I want to give you an, uh, an exception, it will throw error. So if I select Edge Tromium here, and then you can see here, cannot write uh, MS Edge binaries because I don't have that in my system. So that means if you select any browser that is not in your system, you will see this one. So make sure you, you select the correct browser which is installed already in your system, okay? So now for me, I just want to symbol click on the term here because I already know it's a, you know, installed on my system and I click on it, okay? It's sim term driver is not up to that. Okay, good, perfect. So that means the term driver along with the catalog right now is, is not matched to control my web browser version. It's very easy. You just click on the OK button and catalog will do the rest for you. It will automatically download, you see, the term driver to control with Google term version 90 here. Just wait a moment and then hit the finish here. So now, if I want to hit the record again, you can see it will open the page for me. Okay, so now when I move the mouse, the cursor, you can see it's now just highlighted for me. So 
in the first script, I what I want to do that I, I want to go to the form authentication here. I click it, and then okay, let me try to double click, and then I put something like copy. So you can hit something like Control C on the Windows machine, or just Command C on Mac OS. Okay, and then Control V here. And then you do the same thing for the password, and then Control V. So let me try to put something more. And then I just hit on the login button. Okay, and then I hit the login button. Now I close the browser. So now you can try to click on the expand here. So if you expand it, you will see all of the steps that you have just done is captured uh, over the catalog web recorder successfully here. So you, if you want to try to run it again, you can hit the button here. So you can see it's open and something from here. Let me try to click on the first one here. Try to open again. Uh, okay, I think we need to save it first. I think we need to save it first, okay? Um, because maybe related to the term driver version mix match it and something wrong at that time. But I think after we save the script, everything will be okay. So now just click on the save script here. And then you can see on the left side here, this is the first, first thing you need to pay attention. You can see pay the internet. So this one is automatically generated based on the page title here. You can see the internet and it called the page is the internet here. And all of the things you can see here, I click one by one, actually, it actually are the web elements on the page, okay? And on the right side, it will ask us, where do we need to store the, the, the object repository? So just leave it as before now. And in the next, uh, next lesson, I will tell you more about how to create custom object repository later, okay? So just hit on the OK button. So here, after you hit on the OK button, now it's will ask for you what is the test case name. So in this case, I just put something like login uh, with correct credential. Okay, and I hit the OK button. So after that, you can see under the test cases folder, we have login with correct credential here. And under up, uh, object repository here, you can see we have a new folder with the name page, the internet. Okay, and if you expand this, you can see all of the web elements on the page are captured here, okay? So now if you try to select this test script, okay, for you can see something. Okay, if I click here, I just wanna focus on text cases, I select here. And then after that, I click this one. I select it and then let me try to hit on the run button here to see whether it can be executed successfully or not. So here we go. You can see it's learned the browser, but several times. Okay, I will tell you why it learns the browser several times. Okay, copy the username password, click and log out. Okay, perfectly. And the test is passed. But you only the observer does it open the browser several times. So just come back in the test script. You double click here uh, and then you click on the right side. So the first time maybe it's slow a little. So you double click here, click on the right side. It will display for you all of the steps that you already did. This. So you can see here we have open browser, close browser, open browser, close browser. So why this does happen? So that's happened because you remember at the time we opened to record the test script because the browser driver doesn't match. That means that browser driver doesn't support for my current web browser uh, version. So that's why it's stuck. So just basically delete this one, delete the second one, Open, close, okay, delete this one, delete this one again. So you can see open browser, 
navigate to the URL this is the value then we click on the form authentication then double click to copy and then we set the text here then we double click to copy the password we set that password here and after that we click on the login button click on the lockout button and then we close browser okay so now if you try to hit the save button on the left here save it and now you select it and then you run again where is the run button if you don't remember the run button we can hit something like command shift a let me try to do it command shift a okay it triggered uh, the test successfully okay and now it launch browser just one to one time copy the username copy the password and then hit the login hit the lockout successfully okay perfect so now let me try to select all of the things on the left side so now i want to try to open one thing that's in the object repository okay so you open the object repository and then you expand the folder related to your text okay so the first thing here you can see here you can see we have uh, some icon here as a indicator to to tell us is it a link a hyperlink here so let me try to du duplicate and open it oh here this is the selected locator so what's the that mean the selected locator is the locator value that is used in our test script beside us we have uh, many uh selector value here so that means we have something like the second choice here so for a beginner maybe you may ask yourself that what see the selected locator means so let's go back here and then i will show you okay so for example if you click on the form authentication and then you right click here and then you click on the inspect okay so now if you try to trigger this select uh, icon and then you move here and then you click on the username input so here let me try to show you so every single element on the page is actually in the DOM tree DOM tree so that means it will begin with the HTML tag here we have hit we have body and inside that element actually have some attribute here so the automation test uh, uh, with catalog or selenium or anything when we want to interact with any web element on the page actually we want to know the you know the locator value okay so based on that we can trigger for example i have something like uh, id username here okay so if i go to the console here i just want to show a demonstration for you how to capture it so i put username here i hit enter so probably you can see here uh, the length is one and if I move the cursor here, it will be highlighted on the left side here the the element that has that element uh, that's locator value. Okay, so go back to our cat uh, catalog studio here So you can see the selected locator may be slightly different and actually uh, Just be hostnet. I don't like the automatic selector here but don't worry, I will tell you how to custom in the next uh, lesson, okay? So if you try to click uh, through all the web elements that's already captured from our test script, you can see we have different locator value here, okay? So try to collapse it here and look around. We have tag case, we have object repository. And what is test use, what is data file, and some other thing here, we will try to explore in the next lesson. Okay, so now what I want, uh, I want you to do that, just try to create an account, try to download and explore the very first feature from Catalog Studio, that's how to record a record from uh, the, the browser. Okay, just do step by step, and then we can go deep dive all of the feature from catalog studio okay so try to practice yourself bye for now and see you in the next lesson